How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's been way long overdue for this uh, specific video. This is my new Matco JSC773 cart. And uh, we're going to do a little toolbox tour. So stay tuned guys and uh, we'll open this, uh, this bitch up right here. All right, so starting off, uh, this is the uh, Mako JSC773. I did not custom spec this uh, besides the color. I went with the standard drawer layout because it seemed to fit what I need. So I didn't change anything there. So let's get started here in the top. All right, this is the uh, top portion of the box here. Uh, got most of my sockets up here all of my sockets are impact grade here uh, I don't feel the need to carry both chrome and impact when impact does everything that you need so starting off I got these uh, Castleman uh, half inch drive hex impact sockets I uh, got some Olsa tools extended reach hex bits I got my Mac SAE Deep Impact Set. Uh, the shallows are snap-ons. Uh, as far as my 3 8 and my quarter inch sets, those are all expert tools by Mac. So that's like the blue power or blue point of Mac tools. I've had these things for years, and uh, they've been pretty pretty decent. Have some miscellaneous ones in here. I got the Snap-on Magnetic 10, Matco ADV Magnetic 8, um, Snap-on Magnetic 15. Um, as far as my metric shallow impacts, half inch drive, they are snap on. I uh, got some Torx bits, those are just Pittsburgh's. Got some Mac tools, uh, SAE hex over here. I've got my bits and all that in this uh, Ernst Bit Boss that I'm sure you guys have seen in another video. Some other miscellaneous sockets. This is a Tecton 36 millimeter. Uh, Matco ADV 30. Just other common use sockets I keep up here for easy reach. Got some gloves. Disposable gloves, safety glasses, streamlight, uh, some air tool oil. I keep a few blow guns in here. Just spares. I don't really use those too much anymore, and I'll show you guys why. Mac Tools Extended Reach Phillips Screwdriver. Most of my uh, pry bars, Mac tools, random screwdriver, my long Matco pry bar, and all of my roll bars are Mac. Uh, yeah, they're old Macs. See that there. USA made. Keep those down there. Some magnetic, um, you know, whatever parts holders or whatever you want to call them. And uh, that's pretty much it for the top here. We'll move on to the first drawer. All right. So in this first drawer, it's pretty much my miscellaneous, miscellaneous drawer. I guess you could call it. I got my tire inflator. O-ring lubes, dielectric grease, blah, blah, blah. 
T key for the bus doors, flashlights, tread depth gauge, uh, torque seal, markers, tire markers, extra fittings, parts, glass cleaner, some fucking candies because I'm a fat ass, and a uh, pin, a little battery charger, my fucking jumper right here for jumping connectors, bypass and stuff. Box cutter, headlamp, tool for the um, fan, AC belt, idler pulley thingy, tape measure, hose cutter, and this thing is super nice. This is the Capri blowgun that you could change the attachments on and it's OSHA compliant and all that stuff. This thing is a beast. It's pretty much why I don't use those ones anymore. They're just kind of backups. I use this for everything. And that's pretty much it. This is just a kind of a go-to type of drawer. And we'll move on to the next one. Alright, and this next drawer is my wrench drawer. Uh, I got metric uh, snap-on uh, non-flank drive plus wrenches same thing with the SAE they are the non-flank drive plus uh, these are fairly new these uh, Matco flare nut wrenches and SAE all of my stubby SAE wrenches are uh, Sunex as well as my large uh, race panel wrenches or Sunex. Um, SAE ratcheting wrenches, non reversible Duratec. Duratec thin wrenches. These things are super thin. I'm sure you've seen them in one of my other videos. Good to have and very affordable and um, random uh, Mac old school flare nut wrench and the Duratec adjustable box end wrenches it's pretty much it for my wrench drawer here in the cart these are all just common use wrenches and that's why they're in my cart all right, next drawer down, we got the uh, pliers and picks a screwdriver drawer. Starting off with the screwdrivers, we got the uh, Matco, uh, I forget what they're called, but Pro Torque or whatever. That set, I got the little precision set as well. These are made by Vit, the German company. Um, Matco, aka Mayhew, uh, O ring pick set. The number three I just added recently. Got some inspection mirrors right here. It's a blue point and a Titan, I believe. Matco, just generic pliers. Long reach Matcos and hose pliers, duck bill pliers. This is a must have set. This is a radiator pick set for large trucks and whatnot good set to have if you guys ever have any questions about part numbers in any of this just leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you with the part numbers uh, snap on long pick set the small picks are Tecton this very shitty snap on scraper I hate this thing I don't even know what this is but I love this one it's like a non name brand one Lyle uh, hose pliers mac uh, crimpers and strippers got my uh, locking pliers right here as far as the main plier rack I got my Cobra set Knip X Cobras I got the uh, twin grips the uh, plier wrenches these are the, the best and your just long diagonal cutters, snap-on, uh, 
snap on, snap on, snap on. These are those really tight grip ones. It's pretty cool. Snap on needle nose, side cutters, and precision, what do you call them? Um, flush cuts. That's pretty much it. Go on to the next one. Alright, next drawer down is the ratchet drawer. Check that out. We got Matco long flex head, second to biggest longest flex head, non flex head. These are all half inch drive right here. The 3 8 locking flex. Snap on the multi position, snap on quick release 3 8 snap on flex head non locking 3 8 old school snap on just regular F720A, it's a classic. My favorite quarter inch, the snap on non locking flex head the quick release snap on really long quarter inch drive flex head that same multi position one but in the quarter inch drive it's a vim tools one vim tools old school mac breaker bar back here 3 8 drive old school snap on torque wrench with a 3 8 head uh, Tecton folding ratchet and a Craftsman 3 8 right there I got the snap on locking extensions right there a few other miscellaneous I got Mac snap on and Craftsman extensions right here I got the Tecton, I'm sorry Tecton, the Ulsa Tools, uh, what do you call them, Roto Ratchets, half inch, three eighths, quarter, miscellaneous sockets down here, just, you know, adapters, uh, it's Matco, it's like adapters, another common, this is for fuel filters, well I use it for fuel filters, but it's just a uh, Blackhawk, inch and a quarter, uh, I got more extensions over here. I got my snap on. I'm sorry, snap on. Um, this is my. I replaced the snap on with this actually. This is the Carbine Tools spark plug socket. Very nice. Miscellaneous extensions, impact, impact 3 8, chrome 3 8. Quarter inch stuff, just miscellaneous. Uh, torque wrenches, uh, Matco. Let's see what this is. It's my Matco. This is hard to do one handed, guys. Three eighths inch pounds. Click type torque wrench and snap on 3 8 foot pound torque wrench. It's old school right here. I actually just got a replacement for this. If you saw my other video, it's a Mako. I just haven't put it in here yet. But uh, that's pretty much it for this drawer, guys. We'll move on to the next. Alright, guys. Next drawer is my power tool drawer uh, we got the matco extended reach quarter and the standard quarter uh, we got the stubby brushless 3 8 impact dewalt drill dewalt impact driver some harbor freight cutoff wheel this right angle drill that I have an attachment on the end not sure what brand that is 
old school. This is one of my first uh, ratcheting wrenches. I'm sorry, ratcheting wrenches. Uh, air ratchets. This is a Craftsman Professional Series. This thing's a beast. It still holds up after all these years. This is the uh, Aircat Flex Head quarter inch uh, air ratchet that you guys have seen in another video, I'm sure. This is the uh, Astro Pneumatic Flex Head half inch impact. This thing is super convenient if you work on buses or anything tight. That's the big beast right there, the Matco. I'm sorry, Mac. God, I cannot talk today. That is the Mac uh, BWP050, I believe, if I remember that right. Oh no, I'm sorry, 075, it's a three quarter inch drive. Yeah, big boy right there, that thing's a beast. Matco Air Hammer, that thing is a beast. That's the older model too. And old reliable right here, My one of my first uh, air impacts, the MG725 Snap-on and the MG325 3.8s. Matco Stubby Half, I need to replace that soon. It's getting low on power. Got my DeWalt 20 volt max batteries down here. Some 12 volt DeWalt's for this. And um, that's pretty much what I keep in here. It's my main power drawer. Got a bunch of other stuff scattered around and stuff at home as well, but this is my more common use stuff, so I keep it here in the cart. And to the last and final drawer. All right, guys, the last and final drawer is just, you know, like everybody has a miscellaneous junk drawer. I need to get rid of all this, to be honest with you, and move it into this box because I could make better use of this drawer. But it's kind of just my lazy ass drawer, so I got my plugs and stuff down here. Got a DeWalt grease gun down there. Red rags, shop towels, strap filter wrench. Miscellaneous hammers are down here. Ear protection, some brake clean. Uh, you know, and silicone adhesive, some kneeling pads, extra gloves and flashlight, masking tape and all that. Nothing really exciting here, guys. It's just junk. I'll redo this one and we'll follow up with it in the future. But that's pretty much it for it. It's my Matco Jamestown car. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave all your questions in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you guys and what your guys' experiences are with any of these tools. As well as if you guys got any questions. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. I forgot to mention guys, if you do want to see a tour of this main Snap-on box... Uh, leave a comment below, and if I can get to at least 500 likes on this video, we'll do a tour of this one. So please don't forget to like that uh, thumbs up button, and uh, we'll look forward to this in the future. Thanks.